Hi, hello, welcome, my name is Eden, and the book Tubathon ended weeks ago, but I have promised a recap video, and so I am here to give that to you today. I had so much fun in the book Tubathon. I especially enjoyed doing the Instagram challenges, so I was going to talk a little bit about how I set up my photos and some of the stories behind those today. If you want to follow me on Instagram or see what I'm talking about, you can follow me at of Eden Books. So day one, I was so excited I could barely even sleep. I stayed up until the challenges were announced, got it, turned it in my brain, and then I'm like, now it's time to sleep and I'll figure it out in the morning. But I really had troubles falling asleep that first night because I was thinking about what I was going to do. As you know, if you've been watching my Booktubeathon videos, I did not have my full shelves with me. Therefore, doing the photo challenges or video challenges, I had minimal books for resources. So that first day I actually ended up printing off covers of the books. I found a picture on Google and I printed it off and then I wrapped it around a different book so that it looked like I had the Roald Dahl collection. Check out this little video. Behind the scenes exclusive. Here is my first attempt at the Instagram challenge. I did not have Roald Dahl books, therefore these are just covers. All of them. So I had to get a little creative with that. I have to say the video challenge for day one I think was my favorite video challenge. I had a lot of fun making the little prints and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's actually very very similar to the cover even though it's made out of fruit and towels. So I was happy about that. I think that was my favorite one. Day one I was reading at the baseball game. I was trying to get all my reading in. All right, now day two, I was actually recognized as part of the top 10 for the Instagram challenge, and it was to do a picture with book stacks. So I thought, how can I make this a little creative? So I used some of my gymnastics background to make a picture. I didn't have anyone to be my partner in crime to take my picture, so I set up my phone and videotaped it, and I thought I'd grab a screenshot from that. Well, here's a little taste of what those videos produced. I have no idea of what I'm going to attempt to do is going to work. But here we go. I wasn't really sure exactly how it was going to work, so I had to try this and that, find my balance. Well, I finally got a good balance, got a one-arm handstand, and then my books give out on me at the very end of a video. I go crumbling down. Check out this little video. treasure. It's something, that's for sure. I, I like to just replay, replay, yep. So don't try it at home, or at least make sure your books are stable. I get a kick out of that. Anyway, blood, sweat, and tears. It's what it takes for book Booktubeathon. Give it your all. So that was fun. Then on day three, I think that was one of my favorites. I was most proud of this photo, and that was to do a cosplay of a cover. So I was reading when Dimple met Rishi. I had the perfect orange shirt to wear. So here's a little montage of how I got ready for when Dimple met Rishi. I am making coffee for the Instagram when Dimple met Rishi. Brewing. And now I'm going to draw on some henna. say thank you for the love in the comments on my Instagram for that day. I was very happy with it and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it too. And then the rest of the videos and pictures for the week, they went well. Lots of building. I didn't have a lot of books to use so 
they were what they were. Plus, I didn't spend a lot of time on them since I was packing up to leave. Did a little bit of reading with my hat on. Thank you, Emily, my roommate, for lending me that hat. And thank you to my friend Eden. Yes, I have a friend named Eden. For lending me milk and honey for the week so I could get in that book for book two a I tried reading an audiobook, listening, I should say, to an audiobook on my car ride home, but it wasn't interesting enough. I should have picked a different book, I think. And two, it was kind of hard to hear while driving and I was focused, so I don't know if driving and listening to audiobooks is for me. But I haven't given up on the audiobook. In fact, right now, I'm trying to listen to The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, so hopefully I can still, still be a audiobook fan by the end of this. To reward myself, I bought myself a lovely box of books from Book Outlet, so stay tuned for a book unboxing soon. Lots of goodies to come. I hope you had a wonderful book tubathon. I sure did. I look forward to it next year. Thank you, Ariel, for putting on this wonderful event. It's so fun and exciting to see all these readers come together. Oh, I didn't even do pages and challenges. Where am I today? I need to find those numbers quick. Okay, I've done the calculations. Pertaining to the challenges, I successfully did challenge one with the coin toss. I read The Little Prince first, and this was 109 pages. Woohoo! I successfully read a book about something I want to do which was When Dimple Met Rishi, and that was 378 pages. Then I also completed the challenge to read a book while wearing a hat, and that was with Milk and Honey for 204 pages. And I also read a book and watched its movie, and that was with The Little Prince. The movie was on Netflix. I gave a little bit of review about it in my daily challenge video day three I think it was. And then the other challenge was to read a book with green on the cover. I think I chose a different book than what I read but there is green on the cover of The Little Prince and there is a little bit of green on this cover, kind of on the cover. So I'm gonna count that as a successful challenge completion. Then I had to read a book with a beautiful spine. I don't really think I did. I suppose I like that spine. Sure, I'm giving it to myself. Check! And then the final challenge was to read seven books. I did not read seven books. However, I did start the second book of Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarians. I got to pay chapter like eight. I didn't really keep track. I'm gonna give myself 136 pages for that. So grand total, I read 826 pages. The week of Booktubeathon completed all seven video challenges and all seven photo challenges. Pat myself on the back for that. I did end up finishing this book later on and highly recommend. It is just hilarious. Sanderson is genius. I will continue to say such things. It's so good. Read Brandon Sanderson. So I completed six of the seven challenges for Booktubeathon. My best year yet, I'd have to say. I don't know if I will ever read seven books in seven days unless I choose like children's books, but I hold myself to a higher standard than that. I hope that you were able to complete at least one challenge or read a little bit during Booktubeathon. Thank you for watching. Until next time.